cataracts and glaucoma are part of extended exposure to steroids that very few people know about. So SAM is the, the short name that we all use, but it stands for steroids and me. It's meant to be a companion. Uh, it's not specific to vasculitis. Anyone who is dealing with an inflammatory disease or an autoimmune, autoimmune condition who uses steroids or has to occasionally use steroids, we've discovered that that patient population has been sort of left on their own to figure out how to live life on steroids. Yeah, so I will be um, presenting a poster um, that I created with the help of the Medical Library Association's Research Training Institute. Uh, the purpose of the poster is to characterize uh, the unique information needs of patients with vasculitis so that we can determine uh, where the information gaps are and how we can fill them. In my, uh, in my abstract, I identified um, seven main areas of information gaps that vasculitis patients experience. Uh, the top three being um, finding a doctor, locating peer-on-peer -peer support. Third would be um, that financial support aspect that a lot of people struggle with. Um, we're doing a very important project in an area called polymyalgia rheumatica, mm -hmm. which is not a very well-known condition. So, you know, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis are pretty well known. Now, PMR gets neglected often. Uh, we're also, um, the work that we're doing here also aligns with a CDC project that we're doing. So we've been funded by the CDC to raise awareness about this disease.